<laughs> make it easy on us. Thank you. What, what, what kind of specific maybe stresses and strains does going from? It just seems like you're going to such diverse offenses from week to week to week. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they're just different styles. Totally yeah. different styles. Uh, this is a, a pro style offense. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of shift in motion. A lot of different formations, different run schemes. So it is. It's uh, definitely a kind of your pro style. Great passer. Great, great skill players. So a different set of challenges. Does it, but does it maybe on the outside it seems like it would be such a massive change and all this? Is it really that that big a deal maybe for you guys schematically yeah, it's, or? It's, yeah, it's pretty different. Okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just you have to have enough um, that you know each week that you have something you can. You can use against each team and what they and what they do. So I think that's one of the challenges of this conference is having something. You got the zone reads, you got the pro styles, you got the different things, the power gap teams. So it's uh, just a different challenge each week. Well, it seems like this is a game that might really uh, challenge your cornerback in particular with the two receivers they have. Sure. Yeah, they're very very talented. Obviously, uh, we got to uh, be able to help them sometimes, and we got to be able to win one on one sometimes. So that's a, it'll be a great challenge for them. I think they'll be excited to play. Desmond in particular has seemed to be having a, having a pretty good year. Can you just talk about him? I guess you know, if he goes up against say Robert Woods or something in this game. Right. Yeah. Desmond will be. Uh, we'll ask him to do. Again, we're, we're going to have times when we'll we'll be able to help those guys, and there's times when they'll be in some man coverages. So uh, I think uh, being able to to do both those things, and when when the time comes, that we got to be able to make some plays in those one on ones. Does, they do a good job of finding them. Does USC move Lee around a lot? Is mm -hmm. he lining up in a variety of different yeah, places? Yeah, it's not like they just line him up at X and Z. Some teams uh, will do that. One guy plays X, one guy plays Z. Uh, these guys will be moving around, yeah. What problems does that present? Is, we don't know that, where they're going to be. <laughs> is that rare problem. compared to other, to other teams? Or is it's, that a yeah, it's just a you know, credit to them. They do a great job on offense of not lining up the same. And, uh, Again, there's some offenses that you know where the X is going to be all the time, a certain jersey number, and they don't do that. What a quick thought on the Oregon game and kind of you know, assessment of what happened. In that yeah, we didn't play near well enough, obviously, uh, to play a, a team like that. We uh, we had miss, missed tackles that resulted in big plays. We had uh, five 15-yard penalties, which obviously hurt you on defense, and we had three critical coverage busts. And there were plays, and then we got beat. That they beat us one-on-one, um, -on -one. and against a good team like that, uh, you can't make those types of mistakes. So we got to do a, we had to do a great job of uh, going back and, and looking at the things we got to fix, and taking the good with the bad, and moving on to the next week. And that's that's key, uh, no matter win or lose, that you got to do those things. It looks like they came back with a little a little attitude today. It looked like they came back and yeah, kind of got, got, got after it pretty. They, uh, yeah, they did, and, and they did a they done a good job. There's just no time to sit and. You know, lick your wounds. It's a 24-hour rule. Win or lose, you got to move on. And uh, obviously, things didn't go like we wanted them to do. Uh, wanted them to go, and we felt like we definitely could have played better. And there was times that uh, they—that's a good football team, really good football team with a lot of speed. And they, they had a couple plays they beat us on. So uh, we got to clean up the things we can control and move on to the next week. How do you, how do you feel like Desmond Trufant has played this year? I think Desmond played very well. I—I uh, uh, I think he's a real talented guy. He's very competitive. I, I wouldn't trade him. Right Just in general, though, you can take some bright spots out of that, out of the Oregon game. Can you see? There's always some good and bad. Yeah, there's uh, some certain guys had real good, real good games. Uh, I know it doesn't look like that, but Travis Feeney put, played his best game by far. Tackled extremely well. Um, I thought Desmond, for the most part, played really good. Made some plays on some balls. Um, so there's some things. That, yeah, there's always going to be good and bad, and uh, unfortunately. Like I said, we made too many mistakes uh, to beat a good football team like that. And, and again, they, they made some plays in some one-on-one -on -one situations, which is a credit to them. They're a good football team, really good, very fast. And we're going to play another really good, fast team this week. What, what, what was the thought behind starting at Corey Littleton? Corey Littleton, for what we were needing to do in terms of the edges, uh, he had proven in practice and proved during the game that he was the best guy for what we were asking him to do in terms of tackling, uh, being able to uh, play you know, help us on the bubble screens, leverage the quarterback, and he had been consistent doing that in practice, and that was the reason. Speed, mostly. Yeah, and a guy, again, a, a, a taller guy that's got some range who can tackle, and those are those are valuable guys. And uh, he is Corey wasn't perfect, but he went in there and did a good job for his first game away playing in a 
uh, you know, hostile environment. I thought I thought he did a good job. We're excited about Corey. At the beginning of fall camp, where was he on your radar? Uh, wasn't where he's at now. <laughs> how, how, so he's up. how surreal was that game Saturday night for you? Not at all. It wasn't. There was I mean, just no kind of weirdness, or just kind of being on the other side of the whole no. the whole Watson experience. Who are some other guys that are kind of improving in their tackling as the season gets going? Uh, again, I think Travis Feeney tackled really well. Shaq continues to get better. Um, I thought Sean Parker, for the most part, tackled well. Uh, again, the more of those guys, and uh, that, that's that's everything on defense. You can be in the right spot and everything looks great, but you got to be able to finish the play. And um, I think those guys are definitely improving. And we just got to, against good football teams, it's critical that you tackle well. And again, there was other reasons. It wasn't just tackling. There was some busts whether it was a coverage or a run fit that, that hurt us. And uh, we just got to, again, take the good with the bad and move on to the next week. 